How pretty is this lip stitch honeycomb? I love it. Super easy. Right now I'm knitting with a little larger of a needle so it's kind of see-through. But if you knitted one less, a smaller size of a needle, it would be tighter. But let's learn how to make it. You need to cast on an even number of stitches. I cast it on 16 here. And then you're going to knit your first and last stitch. Always. So for your first row, you're going to be on the wrong side row. And this is what it looks like. Knit your first stitch. And then for the slip stitch honeycomb pattern, slip one as if to purl. So you put it on your needle as if you're purling, but your yarn is in the back. You slide it off. And then you knit one. So you slip one as if to purl. And then you knit one. So slip, knit, slip, Knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, and then you knit your last stitch. And for your row two and row four, so your even rows, you will knit all of your stitches. Now for your row three, you knit your first stitch and then you just switch off, knit and then slip. stitch all right and then row four you knit and then you just keep repeating these rows rows one through four this would make a cute scarf or blanket a hat and I actually made a sweater with this it's called the capri sweater if you want to check it out and make it